All right, we're back and I'm healthy again. Add me? Corey, I added you already. I saw your nightmarish profile photo. My God. You trying to scare uh, all the people on Peloton whose name is like, uh, let's go Brandon uh, 2017 and then their photo is like an American flag but with Mickey Mouse instead of the stars on them? You're, you're going to give people some heart attacks on the Peloton, man. Okay, what... Will NL win this one? Yes or no? It's that simple. Yes or no? I'll let you bet for two minutes because we're not dying in two minutes. Now, if anybody didn't know this, the crossbow has recently been changed. Hold the shoot button to charge. Charging gives more damage and piercing. That sounds fantastic. I don't know who to... You know what? When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. Let, let's try Lilith Crossbow. I, I don't have any real reason to think that that's like um, a, a synergy or anything like that, but it just seems like an, an, an interesting idea. So the crossbow is better now. It pierces. It also... it and Dude! Now that I think about it, won't our summons uh, get the damage of our crossbow bolt, which gets stronger the longer we charge it up? Seems kind of incredible. Seem no, sadly they don't. Why do they look so freaking huge then? They look enormous. Give me some move speed early. Her summons are always only flat damage. Okay, you know what? Good to know. They do look cool though. They do be- Nobody's saying they don't be looking cool. I hope, because you'd be lying. You would be telling a fib. And then how about, you know what, even more move speed? I'm assuming fire raid does make the charge time a little faster, which I'll admit sounds useful as well. Without a, without a doubt in the world. Dude, I, I don't know, I think we're cruising right now. It's easy mode. I do have to adjust my brain to being able to uh, see so many stimulus at once, though. I mean, at this point, there, there's a part of me that says, you know what? I, there's there's a lot I like here. I, I feel like I kind of like burn, though, to be honest. If we're going to be... It, it, split shot also seemed like it could be fine. But given that we're piercing so easily, something like burn seems like it could help me. Where would you rank Minami and Miku for Vancouver Sushi? So I'm assuming the only reason you would ask me that question is you were in Vancouver, you ate at Minami or Miku, and now you're doing what I do, which is Googling a restaurant that I enjoyed in order to validate my uh, opinions on said restaurant. I am, I'm gonna just raise my damage up here a little bit. I would, I am happy to not be the bearer of bad news and say that both Miku and Manami, I would I would place very highly in the Vancouver sushi uh, rankings. Obviously, they're a little bit more upscale, but they they would be up there. But so congratulations if if that's your pick for for good Vancouver sushi. I agree with you. I think you've done uh, I, I think you've done yourself a solid with that choice, Jesse. Enemies explode into three bullets. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. I mean, when you're talking Vancouver Sushi, you really gotta... You gotta delineate between a, a few different categories, right? Holy cow, it's already going off. You know, if you're going, like, best in class, then then I do think you're looking at a Miku or a Minami. But a lot of people might think... You know, I know Tojo is popular. I'll take even more walk speed. Um, but, you know, there's other categories. If you're talking value sushi... Feel like hit away in Kitsilano is like it's it was an unappreciated gem when I moved to Vancouver and even still you know we don't find ourselves in the neighborhood that often but uh, I'm always Im impressed with the quality of the sushi the price and the fact that there's like nobody in the restaurant well not nobody because usually there's a wait but the restaurant is like you know eight tables or something you ever been to Saku? Oh, hey, I've been to Saku. Saku is, uh, I mean, I think it's great, but it is also... Give me one of these. It's a, uh, it's the restaurant that made me realize that I can't really eat, uh... 
tonkatsu anymore. Because every time I would eat at Saku, uh, my stomach would start rumbling like uh, an hour later, but not in like a hungry way. I've, I've been to Raisu um, as well. I thought Raisu was Naisu. I like all that stuff. They, they, they're all the um, all the restaurants from that restaurant group. Like uh, Raggio is from the same company. It's a great Izakaya restaurant, also in Kitsilano. King Yo, King Yo, always busy. Very good. The few times I've been there, for sure. Dude, I just want even more bullets. Even we, we're spoiled for choice right now. You're farming plus twos. It's just called entertaining people. What are these words? Hey, I'm sorry. I, sometimes I get a little local pilled. Okay. Summon damage plus twenty percent. Lilith summons an additional spirit when enemies are killed. Sure. Why not? Seems seems good, man. I mean, I, I, are we close to not even having to fire a bullet again? I don't know what to tell you. Reload rate is better. Magic lens. What does magic lens lead to? All the effects of magic lens is doubled. Bullets that pass have burn. Bullets that pass get bounce. I think I want reload rate and move speed. I'm melding into the fourth dimension. Why? Because of the Vancouver dialogue? I mean, I, what, is, what else do you want me to talk about, you know? I, uh, I watched that Iron Chef show, and I was like, honestly, I mean, you're going to make me say it. They should just give Iron Chef back to Japan. Because they the show... You're going to know exactly... Some people are going to pretend that what I'm about to say is, like, messed up. But you're going to know what I mean. The new Iron Chef is simply too American. They've added... It, it's it's American in all the aspects that is just like... It, it leads to overkill on television. It's too staged. There's, it's too quippy. It's too slick. Like, it, it needs... A, it needs to go back to that... You know, I, I, I like the pageantry of the original Iron Chef. Don't get me wrong. But the, it doesn't need the extra slickness. You know, just the fact that it's such an over-the-top thing to begin with should speak for itself. You don't need to have the the dude from John Wick 3 doing the... He's always doing, like, weird... Tai Chi to, like, start the... To, to introduce the secret ingredient and stuff like It's just too much. It needs a baby monkey. Okay, maybe if they could get an animal to co-host the show as well. Or if they could, get, like, if halfway through the show, they just went, you know, bear on a bicycle break, and then, like, a bear rode by on a bicycle, and everyone had to look at it, and then, like, that would be cool as well. Something like that. The cartel monkey died? I don't know what, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What the hell is the cartel monkey? Never heard of this before in my life. Is this... Is that like the Dalai Lama? The cartel monkey? Yes? Sorry, I'm gl I was glancing. I'll fully admit the glance there. He had a bulletproof vest on? What is this? Is this like they did surgery on a grape? I don't understand. You, it, nobody has explained what the cartel monkey is. They just keep adding more and more details onto the story. I'm alive. This would be an embarrassing run to lose right now. Because I do feel like it's the most damage I've had in 100 years. This early. Like, nothing is living except the boss right now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Move speed is up, HP is down. Summon damage is up, reload rate is down. Fire rate's up, damage... Okay, we definitely do not want Tome of Rage. Tome of Summoning could work. Reload rate is kind of a... It's a big negative. But extra speed could be fine too, man. You know what? I, I honestly... I'm just going extra speed. 
I know it might seem like it's the most boring of all of them, but I'm gonna be freaking fast, man. I am gonna be speedy as hell. I guess we, at some point we do want magic lens. I feel like this also gives me the space to get safe and then I can charge up a shot. And then I can send the shot down and I can pick up all the experience that's left behind. Except I am having a very hard time uh, parsing what is and is not safe for me on the screen. <laughs> Bullets that pass through magic lens gain bounce. Okay. There's a, there's just like a little... There's just a little much on the screen right now. But that's okay. I mean, Shatter's just going off, man. I mean, the skulls look the same as the enemies, which is the, the scary part for me, but... It does look like it's going pretty well. Anyway, that, like, that was pretty much my weekend. I watched like two episodes of Iron Chef. Um, on Saturday, we, we hung out with our in-laws. They, they came down to Canada for a day trip. It was pretty fun. Went to the playground. Ate at a Korean restaurant. Keep me, keep me going here. Sunday, went to the park a lot, but, but not really anecdote rich. Just a lot of my baby, like, going down the slide. And uh, really, like, uh, admittedly, we didn't get to talk about it maybe as much as I would have liked, but probably more than Chad would have liked. If you don't find yourself... Because there was, like, 20 years, basically, in my life, between, like, 10 and 30, where I never went to a park. I, I didn't see the purpose of one. Like, okay, it's nice green space. It looks gorgeous as you, like, you know, drive by, but... So what? Now that I have a child, I understand the park. Again, I've, I've rediscovered the value of the park, okay? Not to say you can only go if you have a kid, because, you know, I see people there, you know, reading in the grass or whatever, trying to take a nap. Um, summon damage plus 40, let's try it. But it's crazy at the park, just realizing, like, how many parents are just, like, completely over their kids. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, when I saved that, that one dad's kid from getting hit by the swing, I was like, if that ever happened to me, I would have, like, a serious moment of self-awareness and self-reflection. Hey, hey! But he was just like, thank you! And then, uh, you know, went, went on with his day again. They're just letting... I, I think that I went to the park with my daughter... Because I was like, it's Father's Day. I would love to spend some quality time with my child. But some people go to the park with their kid because they're like, I can't look at this kid inside for like another two seconds. So I'm just going to go to the park and let them run amok. And whatever they do at the park, well, that's like the park's problem. That's not my problem. I don't know. De definitely some different parenting styles out there. Probably beaten down by the corporate world. Okay, well, you fucking, you know, if you're 20, then that's fine. If you're a kid, or if you have a kid, nut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not saying you gotta be super dad 100% of the time, but, like, you gotta at least pay attention. Oh, sorry to my two-year-old child. I'm just really uh, stressed out from work. Okay, you can, like, be stressed out, but... At the same time, you do you it's your kid, man. Sorry, honey. I'd love to give you the attention that I feel you deserve, but I really just gotta respond to these emails real quick. I really just gotta sign these forms on the dotted line. It's crazy to me. Detached streamer take? I mean, real, you, it, maybe this is painting your argument in bad faith, but it really sounds like you're like, ah, oh, if only I was a streamer, I'd be like a good parent. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's out of touch. Kind of sounds like an attitude issue to me. Kind of sounds like a skill issue to me. I didn't realize if you had a hard job, you get a free pass to be like a, a not a good parent, but... Maybe, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. I don't understand why the playground allows parents who just, like, don't watch their kids 
I mean, you would think like that's their one job. Like I would spend any amount of money on a sports psychologist in order to in order to fix this problem. Would love to hear your opinion on this. Go ahead, go ahead. Argue with this without telling me uh, in no uncertain terms you came here just to be mad for no reason. Oh, that's a lot of pluses, man. Sounds like you observed the other parents more than your kid. Dude, honestly, it sounds like you've never been around like a two-year-old child, Goggy. You can supervise a two-year-old child and also observe the world around you. In fact, you have to observe the world around you because, uh, you know, half of the problems are going to come from your child and half of the problems are going to come from the stuff that's in the environment. There we go. One H. No, burn is so much better. Burn is going to heal us way more. Like, there's a little something they recently invented. I almost lost it for a while because of my uh, underage glaucoma uh, diagnosis, but it's called the peripheral vision. Holy cow. You can keep an eye on a couple of things at once. Vi That's why vision is like one of the goaded senses, honestly. Because it really only takes like a, a fraction of a fraction of a second to get a 360 degree appraisal of, of where you're at. It's a B tier sense. Vision is probably the only... Well, I don't know. Touch is, is heavily underrated. But vision is definitely one of the S tier senses. I apologize if you're visually impaired. I mean, I'm visually impaired on a level. I'm just saying, my for my own appraisal of how much I use it in my day-to-day -day life, vision's got to be number one for me. Smell is actually a detriment, as I'm finding, because uh, now that I'm recovering from food poisoning, for some reason, my I mean, probably because my body's like, hey, don't eat, like, poison, um, my sense of smell has gotten amazing. And it fucking sucks most of the time. Because for every, like, you know, beautiful croissant that you smell when you walk by a bakery or something like that, there's, like, 20 alleys just stuffed with, like, rotten garbage. So smell is almost like... I mean, I, I get that it keeps you safe, don't get me wrong, but it's almost a negative in terms of my quality of life right now. It's gonna sneak right by you. Um, taste is a good one. But I gotta be honest, taste is kind of like a nice to have. If it really came down to it, and they were like, uh, you know, you gotta give up vision or taste, it wouldn't even be a... I would not try to weasel my way out of it. I would be like, take the taste. It would suck, I would not be like, oh, it's so awesome that I lost my sense of taste, but I would be like, Versus my sense of vision, absolutely. Touch is always a tricky one because I feel like without a sense of like you know touch, you uh, it's very hard for you to position yourself within the world. But it's got to be like touch and sight are way up there. I might rather have touch than sight just because uh, I don't know. Touch is like so foundational. This is a rare one, by the way. I, I haven't decided if we're going to win yet. I feel like our... Oh! Our rate of improving is slow. The bosses are not dying as quickly as I'd like them to die. We are inflicting some... I'm going to die. I now... I'm, I'm dead already. Holy cow, that happened fast. I'm not dead! I'm, I come back because of my new... My new... My new thing, my new thing, you know, because I got a, the ability to come back from death once per run. Okay, we get full heal, just run. Run for your life. How did I not get hit there? Or did I uh, just heal and then get hit right after? That's insane. It's incredible. The fact that we, we need more bullet damage, that's what I'm realizing. No! Oh, I really thought we could sneak through there. Oh, man.
Okay, we died. Choose prediction. Choose outcome. We did not win that one. Uh, this character, and I, I think we can run it back, honestly. This character needs more damage to scale because the summons fall off. Fair enough. I don't think, I mean, maybe summon damage instead of movement speed also would have been nice still, but... Thank God NL's bad at bullet house. Be happy you won imaginary points without being rude 2022 challenge. There is no NL. There's li it's just me. People are like, you can't be offended. I said your, your Twitch name. That's me, motherfucker. I'm that guy. Okay. We want the bullet damage. I am not an experiment performed by Harvard Business School for the last 10 years, as much as I wish. Legally speaking? Well, it depends on the, the context then. If we're out for coffee, I'm, I'm a guy. If I'm signing a legal document, then I'm, uh, then I'm uh, an entity. I still want the move speed, man, honestly. I do actually, you know what? I totally forgot to mention. I also watched, I have a rare hot movie take. And this is, uh, I, I disagree with the populace or at least the, the intelligista on this one. I watched the new Netflix sci-fi movie, Spiderhead, starring Miles Teller and Chris Hemsworth. And I want to be clear, I did not think it was the most incredible movie I've ever seen in my entire life. But when I watched it, I was like, you know what? That was pretty fun. I'd, I'd put, I'd slot that in, in the, in like the seven range. I was a little surprised to, to log on to my favorite, um, shit on movies websites and find people shitting on this movie. I thought it, I, I would give it a, a solid seven. It, it had heavy, like, you know, student YouTube film energy, but, Basically, what I'm saying is a, a unique and perhaps overly precious premise. But apart from that, I, I enjoyed it. Or maybe in, 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 because of that, I enjoyed it. Okay, I'll go dagger still again. I think, at, at the very least, I think it's fine. If you were thinking about watching it, as far as, you know what I would describe it as? At, at worst, it's like kind of a middling Black Mirror episode. Not like the really bad ones, like the one with the dogs, or the one where the lady simply cannot stop murdering people in order to cover up her first murder. But like a middling episode. So when you, when you watch, even at the end of it, you won't be like, Oh, that was an extreme waste of my time. You'll be like, oh, they could have done this, this, and this better, but... The dogs episode is good. Stare. Um, stare. I'll take heavy, heavy weaponry. I will say for all the... For all the shit that I talked about that last season of Black Mirror, I do, maybe the joke's on me because I do kind of miss it. Now that Netflix is just reality TV shows about selling houses in Nashville, I'm like, I, I kind of miss it a little bit, I gotta say. Let's raise that summon damage. But there's that great tweet that's like, Black Mirror season one, you know, uh, here's the negative repercussions hitherto for unconsidered about our rising reliance on technology. Black Mirror in season five. What if you and your friend could fuck while you played Street Fighter? I love that tweet. It's, it, Cause it's true, man, it, it did go there. Glad you're well, glad you're well, glad you're well. Hello, Daniel, hello. I, I enjoyed uh, immensely what I saw of your interview with Let Me Solo Her this morning. I loved when you asked, what's your, uh, what's your strategy for Melania? And he said, usually I just get in there. Incredible insight. You know, it's the classic, like, you know, Wayne Gretzky made a horrible NHL coach. Because I'm sure that he was like, you know, when people on the 2007 Arizona Coyotes were like, Hey, Wayne, hey, coach, what should I do? He was like, oh, how about you just pass the puck to where you're, uh, 
teammate is going to be even though they don't know that they're going to be there yet. Why don't you just pass the puck into the exact perfect zone using your psychic powers and uh, then they'll score a goal. He didn't make it too far. I'm going to be honest, like, I think Shatter's good, but also I couldn't follow the shit on the screen. So, goodbye. That's so easy. Okay, summon damage, 20%, sure. Still can't see what the hell's going on, but that's okay. Also, the scandal. Yeah, but like only you and I remember the Arizona Coyotes assistant coach and Wayne Gretzky's wife getting caught betting on game scandal from 2007. Relatively small league, relatively small uh, market 15 years ago now. I remember, dude, Lilith is, is cracked early on. Tell the story. Well, like, I believe that Rick Tockett, the assistant coach at the time of the Phoenix Coyotes, got implicated in a, in a sports betting scam scandal. Now, you have to remember um, that back, I know now, like, the league is like, please bet money on games. Back in the day, the league was like, oh, if you ever gamble on sports, you're basically banned for life, like Pete Rose. So, you know, we've come a long way in the negative direction, <laughs> I guess, in terms of slipping standards with respect to that sort of stuff. Um, so, I mean, there was just a big investigation, you know, and then that leads to all the conversations. Should a coach be able to bet on uh, the sport that they're coaching? as long as they're not betting on games that their team's involved in. And then there was always, and, and you never know how true these conspiracy theories are, because I don't, it, a guy, a friend of a friend who w was on Reddit said that this is how it ha happened, but there was some conjecture that perhaps Wayne Gretzky himself was implicated in the scandal, but he, he let his wife and the assistant coach of the team be the fall guys in order to preserve his image whether that came down from, from him or from the team or from the league, who knows. And it's, again, conspiracy theory, so odds are it's probably not real to begin with. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's up there with that, that frozen envelope theory. I know you're gonna be like, that's real, and you know I'm gonna be like, that's not real. I'm at peak focus. The frozen envelope was real? Come on, man. The crusts don't line up. Just thinking about that the other day, dude. Chuck E. Cheese should, like, sue Shane Dawson. Or was it... I guess I shouldn't just say that out of nowhere. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna mix it up here a little bit, okay? We're gonna try this summon damage run now. And, and hope that our uh, that our skulls can do the job for us. Cause was it I I thought that the the crust line up, the crust don't line up thing, was like manufactured. Like they took multiple pizzas from Chuck E. Cheese and then mashed them together. Am I, am I not remembering? Is this the the kangaroo video all over again? We'll never know, apparently. Okay, I, I still definitely do think... You know what? Let's increase our reload rate first. MadPad debunked that? This is crazy, man. We got all the the YouTube uh, 60 Minutes investigative journalists on this Chuck E. Cheese case. We got Mike Wallace, Barbara Walters. The other ones. Do you still think the kangaroo video is fake? Is this like the the last death rattle now that like the food poisoning thing had a logical conclusion? Is we got to start like uh, dredging up absolutely ancient bits uh, now to get like a little extra, a little extra sauce? I would love a fireball, thank you. Ben Wallace, dude, Ben Wallace, honestly, he wasn't my favorite reporter on 60 Minutes, but if I needed somebody to 
eat some glass for me and and get like 10 offensive rebounds in the NBA Finals, it would be Ben Wallace 100%. There's no way I'm picking Barbara Walters for that shit. Barbara Walters, she could be like a three-point shooter, don't get me wrong, but... You want Ben Wallace going in the key for those... For those dirty rebounds. There's no doubt about it. I don't know. Let's make our reload rate better. I did see the new job tier list. I think I'll... I, my guess is I'll probably do that this week. Because, uh, was it Tonbo that did it? Whoever it was, thank you. Especially if it's Tonbo, because that's a rare, correct attribution for me. The first time we did a job tier list, it was clearly like somebody who had just gotten their CFA or something like that. So they were like, what about a forensic accountant who works in a bank? What about a, a chartered professional accountant who works for a mom and pop store? What about a bookkeeper? Et cetera, et cetera. Um... We don't really want to refill ammo, I think. Um, okay, that's bad. This one was like, I don't want to say real jobs, because it's, you know what I mean, but you would take it out of context in order to misrepresent it for humorous purposes. Um, it was a wider array of jobs and jobs that uh, the everyman has a little more awareness of what they might what the duties of the job might entail i think we definitely need this now need to get some more crowd control um just from having interfaced with it on the consumer level instead of like you know a bunch of like you know engineers that i you know i have no idea what the delineation between the subtypes is it's like, you know, well, streamer's on there, so that's one big plus. And then, you know, bus driver, pizza cook, you know, the things that an idiot like me can actually understand. Real jobs? I mean, what are you, why are you offending the pizza cook? I don't understand. I honestly, whenever I make pizza at home, I have even more respect for the people that work in the pizzeria, because they... I've had some messed up pizzas, but it's usually the delivery driver's fault. It's not the restaurant's fault. Like the time that the... DoorDash... It was the first time my parents had ever used DoorDash, and they were like, I don't know, we're skeptical. And then I was like, it's actually like the easiest thing in the world. We definitely want Holy Shield here. Um, like you can order any food you want, and it'll arrive in like 45 minutes maximum. And then the guy showed up with the pizza boxes. Um, of course they chose pizza, but anyway. But it, it wasn't one of the normal chain delivery places, and that's the true beauty of DoorDash. Anyway, the, he showed up and he pulled the pizza boxes out of his delivery bag, but they were all like on their ends instead of stacked flat. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. And then... Um, as we, my dad opened his pizza box and like the whole pizza had slid over to one side and was like just rolled up on top of himself and all the toppings had fallen off. And we just, all I could do was laugh, man. It was so funny. Cause it would, I think we had also, that, would, that the whole order was an ordeal. Cause I remember like, the driver called me? Or I think, no, no, I called the driver because, like, it put the pin, like, our address was in right, but then the map integration was horrible. Like, it was sending them across town. So I called the driver and was like, hey, just so you know, it's sending you across town, but here's where our actual address is. And he just started, like, swearing at me and being like, this is ridiculous, man. I don't know, like, why I do this. And I was really awkward and kind of like, you know, just quiet. And then he said, wait, are you the customer or are you DoorDash? And I said, I'm the customer. And he said, oh, sorry, man, I'll be there soon. And then we hung up. I guess he thought it was like DoorDash support that had called and... 
<laughs> instead he just made me feel like real bad about it and then i think maybe what happened is that he was so pissed off he just took the pizzas and was like i'm just gonna fuck these up a little bit but anyway busted that's that's a good one from the vault that's a classic uh classic anecdote from a long time ago well, was, I don't know, that was actually... It was with 20, 2019, I'd say. It's not that not that long ago. Give me the HP, please. Feels like a long time ago. I mean, it was a decade ago, technically. You guys realize that we were actually kind of at the point where we could... Crystallize, like, how we feel about the 2010s a little bit? Like, when, when you think about the 2000s, what do you think about? I think about boy bands, girl groups, um, the end of American Innocence. Uh, I think about The Daily Show. I think about the a Gen 1 iPod with a click wheel. Think about the 2000s. How did I not get hit? How did I not get hit? Uh, think about the 2000s. I think of new metal. Think of audio slave. The rise of social media. 3D movies. BP oil spill. Sure. All right. I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure where you're trying to be such a downer. Uh, I have time to die. Help, help me. We just need to get a chain reaction going here. We're, we should be at the point where we can sort of think about the 2010s like that. I don't know, what do I think about the 2010s so far? I, I, I don't have a great answer for it. I feel like I kind of got to think about it. You know what? How about this? How about Armed and Ready? Dark Souls? Okay, sure. Dark Souls and Pokemon Go. We're not just naming, you've really got to pick like just a couple of video games. Otherwise, you're just listing video games that came out in a decade. I, I definitely, as this might seem minor, I, I do think of the 2010s as like one of, the, one of the most important rises. Maybe not in terms of like, you know, quality of life, but just in terms of cultural relevancy was the rise of the delivery apps, man. In 2010, if you said, let's order something for dinner, you're like, sure, what do you want? Pizza or Chinese food? I'm alive again? Nowadays, the, it, in a way, it actually sucks because the question is way harder. What do you want? The, every restaurant in the city is on one of two apps. Okay, I'm still pogging. I have three ammo. I am, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. And you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna die the exact same way I died last time. My shield's back, my shield's gone. I'm dead. All right. Rise of streaming? Speak on that. What do you mean by that? At 2010s is definitely the rise of the MCU. Will NL win this one? I almost paid out yes. I'd like to apologize for that. Let me get a slash marker. Uh, that'll be 20 mins one. Okay. Not great. Let's rebuild this. I'm just going to be honest. I, wa I want to play as the Dash character. There's a part of me that thinks Dash and Grenade Launcher makes sense. Because you can have them, they get close. Then you launch the Grenade Launcher at them. They get close. You Dash. You drop a grenade launcher on him. That's true. Probably, may, do, I mean, it sounds so... I'm, I'm getting freeze. You still... You always need freeze early. If an enemy lives, they should die to ice. One of the... The most day-to-day -day transformative change of the 2010s... 100% the rise of streaming media. There's no doubt. What percentage of people had a Netflix subscription in... I didn't even run the casino. Okay. What what percentage of people had a Netflix subscription in 2010? Like, I don't know, like 8% of the population. 
what percentage has one now? Well, a subscription to some streaming service? I don't know, like 87% of the population? I don't know why I thought about it so carefully, like I was gonna come up with a great answer just out of thin air. Okay, Sonic. I don't even know what that means. Please tell me this is not a ra You're barking up the wrong tree if you think there's gonna be a random uh, reference to Sonic the Hedgehog movies and that I'm gonna pick them up. Those, I, I don't, something about, and I don't mean this to be super negative, but there's something about the people who see the Sonic the Hedgehog movies seem to think that they're like this enormous cultural event that everybody has uh was there what what was the biggest moment for your theater in sonic the hedgehog 2 was it when they played live and learn and i'm like my brother in christ i haven't seen either of the movies yet the only, i i do see a frame of sonic the hedgehog the movie every time i go to um netflix kids when i'm watching tv with my daughter and then they're like, hey, because you watch Peppa Pig, you should watch Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. Let me get a ghost friend. Why not? Don't blame me. That's the Netflix algorithm that's saying people who like this also watch this, okay? But I'll be honest with you. If you're in the bubble of, of knowing people who have kids... People who watch Peppa Pig also watch everything. Because, it, like, every kid on Earth apparently watches Peppa Pig. Which is also totally fair. You know what? Let me get a dragon egg. Peppa be saying any crazy shit lately? Nah, it's pretty much... You know, mostly they're just, like, buying groceries and stuff. They're not getting into too many, like, you know... There hasn't been, like, a heist or anything recently. There hasn't been a very special episode of Peppa Pig. I don't want bullets that bounce. We've got to be careful. Let, let me get better summon damage. No, I didn't take piercing shots, did I? They're not piercing. Don't don't tell me you're piercing. Don't crap down my neck and tell me it's piercing. Hello. <laughs> Smells bad. Ah, oh, let's go! Kate's seeing if the, if the doors are squeaky. By the way, the whole last week that I had food poisoning, also my daughter was out of daycare with a cold. In case you're looking for, like, man whose life was hardest last week, I'm not saying I would even be in, like, the top 10, but if we're talking, like, top 100 worldwide... Also, man whose wife's life was hardest the past week, for sure. It's amazing, like, when my daughter hasn't been in daycare for, like, a week, it's like, the fridge is just pasta we cook for her and strawberries. It's like, the, the concept of going out and, like, cooking something for ourselves, it just seems like, you know, you, you just deprioritize yourself over and over and over again. Um, now she's been in daycare for two and a half hours. We're fixing, and I say we, is really entirely my wife, but my wife is is fixing the, the squeaky door hinges. Like, that's that's the, the kind of momentum you can get. I swear your daughter's out of daycare more than she's in daycare. What a trenchant observation. I never thought of that myself when I wrote the checks. <laughs> or get uh, comments uh, I had tweeting about how I had like diarrhea 30 times in 8 hours and then somebody replies and is like when's the next bespoke Super Auto Pets video on YouTube I don't know um, I'll, I'll let you'll be the first to know I promise I'll pencil you in any askers well there's one asker again I'm not turning it's like everything's fine I'm just saying what am I supposed to do with that? You think I'm not aware of that information? Come on. Of course I'm aware of that information. It's like a messed up thing to say. Help. 
Okay, I'm safe. I'm stable. Now invincible during your dash. Good enough. Good enough. Now if we can raise our damage even better. You know what? I would love to have a dragon that's even stronger. I thought he looked thinner than normal. Honestly, I would say the only good thing about food poisoning, I really appreciate this, um, is that on Friday when I was live, I did get a lot of comments that said looking lean king, um, which at least food poisoning, I mean, I looked worse for sure, but definitely I, I, I had malnourished myself to a little bit more of like an angular, uh, an angular cheekbone sort of structure. So I wouldn't recommend it. In fact, I would have given up like six months of weight loss progress just to have like a healed butthole instantly. But at least there's some uh, there's some positives that come with it. Well, I guess you shouldn't call it a positive, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> kind of problematic to call it a positive, but but look, nobody's on an eating disorder where they're like, let me uh, poop once an hour. That's, I don't know if there's a, a, a diarrhea-based eating disorder. If there is, I, I feel bad, for sure. Mostly because I lived that life, you know. That's literally a diet fad? Yeah, in, don't, like, concern troll. In the fucking 1950s. When you'd read, like, Good Housekeeping and there'd be an ad for, like, a tapeworm or something like that. This is really problematic. My aunt in 1950s suburbia drank that tapeworm juice. If she was watching this stream right now, she would be very offended. I'm going to crank bullet damage. Let's take this. Anyway, I mean, I can do what everyone does, right? I can just acknowledge that that's bad and then say, don't do that. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just happened to consume some cat poop or something, and then, you know, this that's how it kicked it into gear. Is your food poisoning completely gone? I apologize. I, I can't help but be pedantic. I feel like, I don't know if my poisoning is gone completely yet. I feel like 90%. But I don't know, am I still, am I still poisoned? You gotta ask my, uh, you gotta ask my body that. I don't want bouncing. Maybe I want move speed? Maybe I want moves, maybe I want bullet speed? Maybe I want bullet speed. Is your Minecraft health bar green? I don't even really know what that means. Green means you're healing, right? 90% of the Minecraft I ever played was before you had to eat food to survive. Go green means you're poisoned? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I would say I have taken all of the, the, the damage over time already. Maybe my, my HP is lower than it needs to be. I eat, need to eat like a few watermelons real quick get myself back to fighting shape. I don't know, I'm definitely not taking a dot anymore. Okay, summon damage for sure. So trees actually hurt you now. That's that's one thing I, I read in the chat. Trees were never supposed to not hurt you. They hurt you now. Dude, bullet damage. Okay, piercing kind of sucks, but we're already piercing anyway. This seems like what we need. We need the damage. It makes all of our... Well, it makes the grenades better. It makes the... Knives better. Bullet size being higher doesn't really bother me. This... I, I think that could be a fine one as well. This we do not want. We definitely don't want that. Okay, this... Let's take Toma Power for now. Whoop. Okay, you were, size was actually bad. I For some reason, I didn't think it would affect the size of our explosion. But still watermelon season in Vancouver? Bro, it's been like cold, dude. I mean, I don't know if it's watermelon season to begin with, but it's like, what's today? June 20th? This weekend, it was like 13 degrees Celsius and cloudy. Like, I've just, I've resigned myself to the fact that we're just not going to have a summer this year, and that's okay. I'll, I'll live with that. 
There's nothing much you could really do about it. I'm gonna become one of those insufferable people who's like... You know, at least there won't be any wildfires. As, as if um, fire can't start at 13 degrees Celsius or, or lower. Pacific Northwest summer doesn't start till July. I mean, I've lived here for like 10 years. I've seen the historical records. It's this is an atypical year that we're dealing with so far. I do you cannot take shatter. Shatter is untakeable. Sure. I'll take double shot. I'll I'll finally fulfill double shot. It seems like the it's making the vine boom sound like this is all positive right now. But like 13 and cloudy is okay. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have some sun. But like, it's just the, the, the rain has been extra crazy this year. There's something like, I don't, I don't know if it was June, or, you know, it must have been June. It said like, by uh, like June 12th of this year, we had as much rain as we have in the average entire month of June. And then you look at the forecast and it's like 50% uh, projected rain for like the next eight days. And you're like, okay, all right. There's not much you can do about it. You might as well just chill out, I guess, but... This runs good. You just fire in an arc. You make yourself some space. You run for your life from the long arm of the law. Must be nice. Here we're in a drought, so we're rationing water. Look, I, I have sympathy, but don't do that. Like... You could, you could do that with any, so you could be like, oh, it must be nice to just be in a drought. I'm presently experiencing a Richter scale 7.7 .7 earthquake right next to me, right? Like, it's always, you could always elevate it like one extra level. We should not have this idea that you can never complain about your weather. Oh, you expected to get one day of sun in June? That, well, I haven't drank water in six months. Okay, well, I don't know. Fucking, like, move, dude. It's just idle complaining. There's like 90% of human communication. We shouldn't have to police the complaining here. Especially in Twitch chat, where, like, literally... 80% of messages carry like a, a negative emotion attached to them. But then when like the streamer says something, well, like, well, you should actually be happy. For lunch yesterday, I ate uh, dirt. Like, okay, well, like, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm the only one who's not allowed to uh, complain during conversation. Doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, I still want, you know what, piercing's fine, I've decided. I still want the extra speed. Rain is your trade-off for snow-free winters? Yeah, it rains, like, in the winter time instead of snowing. I mean, we don't have to do this every time. It's getting to be a little much. But, like... I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, like, oh, the weather should be sunny. Because, like, I get that the weather is the weather, right? Like, what are you going to do? But, like, I just feel weird when people apply, like, a moralistic lens to it. Like, you shouldn't complain about the weather. Okay, then you shouldn't complain about fucking a lot of stuff. Do you think that Joe Biden should stick to stationary bikes? No, uh, stationary bikes are actually a lot easier to fall off of. It's the momentum that helps keep you, you anchored in the seat. You notice he only had a problem when he stopped moving. A bike is at its most tenuous when, when it's not in motion. Which is why, like, I'm amazing at riding, because I've never fallen off my peloton even a single time. And that shit doesn't go anywhere.
is literally a West Wing plotline. It's just funny. Like, I don't if 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 you're so politics pilled you can't see the humor in the most powerful man in the world tumbling off of his bicycle, regardless of where you find yourself on the aisle. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You are truly lost. If, if Bernie Sanders was elected president and he fell off his bike while doing, like, a promotional stop somewhere, I would laugh. Of course. Pretty much no matter what, if, if an old man fell down while, while riding a bicycle, I would... It, it's, it's not funny because they're old, it's funny because they're powerful. Seeing a, a powerful man with a nuclear football reduced to... An inevitable, because once you start tipping over, you're gone, right? To, to see the world's most powerful individual reduced to just holding the handlebars until they hit the sidewalk, it brings them down to the level of the common man. It's, it's, it's egalitarian. It would be inauthentic not to at least chuckle. Are you saying it was staged? You guys need to turn your country on and off again. Honestly, like, it's just this... <laughs> I'm not saying it was staged. I'm saying he's a 78-year-old man falling off a bicycle. You don't have to stage that shit. It's not a moon landing. I'm sure it happens all the time. If anything, it's kind of humanizing. I said the same thing with George W. Bush almost died because he choked on a pretzel. Even as, like, a, a John Stewart devotee in... 2004, I was like, well, you know what? In some ways, he's just like me. That's I could see myself going down that way. The pretzels were making him thirsty. Same way when he dodged the shoe, you know? Again, that, that's not my guy in the White House. I was 16 when the 2004 uh, election woke me up to the reality of the real world, all right? In my heart of hearts, I didn't think there was a world where John Kerry could lose. We want burn. Burn's what we want. We don't want bound. Okay, take me on the burn tree then. But even though he wasn't my guy, when he dodged those shoes, I was like, I gotta admit, that's kind of gangster. He dodged the first one. He pops up with like a little bit of like a... He's got, he, he's got a game face on. And then he dodges the second one, like, the exact same way. That was... That was a funny moment. Hold on, I didn't even realize the boss spot. Throwing the shoes was gangster too? It was all gangster. From, from the top of the... From the tip of his head to the tip of his toe. It was, it was non-stop gangster. That was my gangster moment of the month, no doubt. Summon damage plus 25%. Shadow clone attacks three times faster. Yes, okay. Didn't you go to a Republican's election party in 2000? First off, that's slander. Even though I do have to say it is true. Yes, in 2008, I went to a Republican election party. In my defense, it was my friend's girlfriend's election party. And I just assumed because we were like, you know, 19-year-old Canadians that we were all on the same team. And then they start calling out, you know, like the 9th District of New Hampshire goes to John McCain and everybody starts cheering. And I was like, what the hell? What am I doing here, man? That actually, and this is not a joke, and this is, there's no sauce placed on this story at all. But uh, that ended up being like the straw that broke the camel's back with, with me and that friend. Because me, I, and I'm not going to, look, you're, again, this is like plus two farming, so I apologize. It's their party, and I should have had more respect. But a friend of mine and I, who went there, and we're like, you know, rooting for Obama's 2008 victory, as it became clearer and clearer in the night that he was definitely gonna win and John McCain was gonna lose, the mood got very macabre at this particular uh, house party, except my friend and I were just twisting the knife, twisting, even California comes in, hey, what's
what's that? Oh, 57 electoral votes. Uh, Oregon comes in. That's another 14. Washington. And then, like, um, the next day. And it, I want to say, by the way, that, again, this was an uncivil way to act here. Now, maybe... It, oh, that was unnecessary. Maybe it's an everybody sucks here. Because, you know, and not too many people are going to be playing, like, a violin for them, I'm sure. I'm just saying. Um... The next day, like, my friend would not speak to me at all. Probably, I'm guessing, that his girlfriend... Uh, like, he was not at the party. But his girlfriend was probably like, Hey, your, your friend was like an insane asshole at my house last night. Um, and that caused him some grief. As a result, our relationship was kind of, like, irreparably damaged. Which is sad. But at the same time was also very funny. It was just a humorous evening. Plus, even the friends like I'm on good terms with from college, I haven't seen them in like 10 years anyway, so like, no big loss. <laughs> I think we're okay, man. I mean, I don't think we need six dragon rewards. Maybe just increase my, my bullet damage a little bit here. Anyway. I mean, again, in, in, I think it's in everybody sucks here. I got invited to their party as a guest, and then... Uh, you know, behaved, honestly, like a, like a horse's ass. Now, maybe it was for a good reason or a defensible reason, but it's not something I would recommend. But, it, you know, it happened. And again, it has led to a very funny story as well. So there's, there's positives and negatives. Their party, their rules. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure they were like, just go home. But we stayed. <laughs> we stayed all night long. <laughs> oh, man. I should have known it was like a Republican uh, party, too. Because, like, what kind of 20-year-old has a catered election party for a foreign election? That shit was crazy. should have been the first uh, tip right there. When I went there and there were just like bags of Lay's potato chips, there was like hors d'oeuvres and stuff. I, I should have sniffed that out right away. Like something is not right. I don't want to lower my my bullet damage. I'm doing great right now. Oh! <laughs> Just fire some bullets. I lived. Not again. I'm not going back. Tell the chief don't save any cages. Never let him see you sweat. That's the most important thing. Don't go to bed angry. Okay. Okay, you tried. You tried. Move speed up. Bullet bounce up. Summon. You know what? I'm going summon damage up. I think our reload rate can handle this. You see this dragon kind of going off too? I never thought it would happen. I forgot there's two bosses at this stage of the game. Just keep moving. This is me sauntering away from my problem. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. A burn heal. I feel so much more confident now. We already got back to full health. The boss is not dead yet. But are you hearing this? What is that... Airplane engine. Let's go. 
That's the shadow clone? Holy cow. Okay, I mean, that's just great. <laughs> it's Joe Biden's bike. Oh my god. Reload your gun automatically after dashing? Insane. I think I think we're set, dude. We can't be stopped. <laughs> Believers rise up. There's there's one problem I have with like the design of this game right now. There's no pageantry once you kill that like dragon boss. That's just it's over. There's, you should be fighting for your life until the last second. Now, I don't know how you solve that without making every run, like, very, very difficult, but still. Holy cow, did you see that XP? When you inflict freeze, also inflict burn. Yeah, like, I feel like there should be a big Dracula that comes out, like, in 20 minutes or something like that. Just hypothetically. Oh... But it's kind of nice to have a victory lap, too. Hello, Josh, by the way. Hello. No bounces? No bounces? How about just some move speed? 20 minutes till my first bet victory. Dude, I've, I actually won a couple of bets in the Mouth Casino this weekend. Feeling pretty good about my channel points. Holy cow. And Malf does like the psycho bets for uh, for 20 minutes till midnight. He he puts like a range out there. That's like when when what five minute interval do you think he'll live to? I called two out of three correct, and I was like, ooh. Uh, I got shot. Hold on, I got shot. Anything could go wrong. Pay attention. The believers they they want you to win. Why are you just tanking shots? I would literally thought I was invincible and acted accordingly. I don't want to lower my bullet damage. I refuse. Give me better fire rate. I will not look at you. I will not look at you. I will I will glance only upon the game for 1 minute and 17 seconds. Max HP minus 1 bullets deal more damage. Sure, I don't I don't see why we wouldn't do this right now. Why would you do this? Because I'm going to get my holy shield back anyway. No! I told you, there's my holy shield. Okay. Look at me, Hector. I will not look at you, Hector, okay? We're fine. We just got to we got to dip, we got to dive, we got to we got to dodge, okay? We're probably not even going to get one more upgrade. Just give me a magic lens for now. I think the secret is that you you magic dash and then your next magic dash goes to the place where your last dash was. So you pick up all the experience that it farmed for you up there and then you just keep repeating this over and over. And you get a little EXP in the meantime. How does that sound? Oh, dude. good this was a good run i feel good i feel safe i feel solid um probably don't take shatter although the idea of taking shatter at like the last possible second is very funny but i don't think we're gonna get there or splinter whatever it's called same same difference we did it my streamer the grenade launcher they said the grenade launcher could never work Chad told me it couldn't be done. Sorry, I'm just posing for the thumbnail. Put me in the thumbnail. Elon Musk face. I heard inflation this year is rising to 420.69. Man, oh man. 
choose prediction, choose outcome. We did win. I'm glad you won. Thank you, Josh. I'm, I'm glad you're here. How about some runes? I only have 57,000 though. Activates once per game. Activates once per game. Activates once per game. It activates once per... The interesting thing about it is it activates once per game. Okay. I've never seen anyone win a run. Uh, what can I say? I am pretty good. Abby. Right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions. When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. You're just kind of annoying to play. I'm like, okay, let me get Abby. Abby bad gun still makes sense to me. Start a prediction, give it a try. Let me get a slash marker. 20 mins. 